everybody, this is Stu Fuchs from Ukulele Zen. Today we're going to have a fun swing lesson. We're going to be playing a classic tune, Swinging on a Star. This is a song that was recorded by Bing Crosby, Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, and a whole lot of other great artists. Really, really fun song. My intention is to offer something that everybody can follow along with, whether you're a beginner or a more advanced player. And after we jam out the tune, I'm going to show some other ways of playing seventh chords and these are nice melodic variations. These extra shapes will open up some chord solo possibilities for you as well. So I'll get into that after we jam out the tune. This lesson includes the monthly patron voted jam track and what that means is that every month I make several lesson videos here on YouTube but once a month I make a play along jam track and that's available for patrons of Ukulele Zen. Those are for patrons at any level of support. You can check out the jam track at the link below if you'd like to receive it and also the printable PDF that goes along with this lesson. It's available for you at Patreon. The jam track has bass and drums and it follows the arrangement of the song sheet and the version that I'm going to be playing in just a moment for you. Hope you enjoyed the jam track. It's there for you to enjoy practice with and even perform with if you like. Now on the printable PDF that goes along with this lesson there's of course a song sheet and then on page two is a proper you could say a proper chord chart one with boxes and following along with the box notation is really helpful for understanding the structure of the song how many beats each chord receives so go check that out as you follow along. The rhythm we're going to be playing is a shuffle strum. I'll be doing some other, you know, you could say fancier stuff, and I'll break that down as well as teach you some nice variations after we jam out the song. Are you ready to play? A one, a two, a one, two, three. Would you like to swing on a star? Carry moonbeams home in a jar and be much better off than you are. Or would you rather be a mule? And verse one. A mule is an animal with long funny ears. He kicks up at anything he hears. His back is brawny, his brain is weak. He's just plain stupid with a stubborn streak. And by the way, if you hate to go to school, you may go up to be a mule How would you like to swing on a star And parry moonbeams home in a jar And be much better off than you are Or would you rather be a pig There's only these four bars before the verse Verse 2 A pig is an animal with dirt on his face his shoes are a terrible disgrace He's got no manners when he eats his food He's fat and lazy and extremely rude But if you don't care a feather or a fig You may go up to be a pig Chorus Would you like to swing on a star Carry moonbeams home in a jar And be much better than you are or would you rather be a fish here comes the third verse one two three a fish won't do anything but swim in a brook he can't write his name or read a book to fool the people is his only thought and although he's slippery, he still gets caught. But if you that's the sort of life that you wish, you may go up to be a fish. All the monkeys aren't in the zoo. Every day you meet quite a few. So you see, it's all up to you. You could be better than you are. You could be swinging on a star. Alright, thanks for jamming along everybody. I'm going to break down some of the things I'm doing with my chord slides, the uh, interludes with my thumb picking right now, so stay tuned.
first thing I'm doing is as I'm shuffling along, I'm sliding the chords around. Did you see how I'm doing that on E7? What I'm doing is I'm coordinating the up strum with moving it down one fret. You can do this with any chord, really. You could try it here with the D7. my up strum I move down a fret and then the following down strum I'm up a fret. Other things I'm doing to make it more colorful is instead of a G major chord occasionally I lift that ring finger up to play the easiest jazziest chord in the world G major 6 and that's open second fret open second fret it's a nice nice colorful sound to go with this song and of course you can do that sliding thing with that too. I'm adding a little bit of melody to the A7 by adding these notes to the chord. What that is is strumming an A7, adding a G, then an F sharp, and then an F natural, and then going down to the open. If you wanted to analyze it, it's an A7, doubling the seventh, that's an A13, that's an A flat 13, and that's going back to A7. If that much music theory makes your head hurt, no worries. All you do is you do it old school, and that is just think about it as the chord, and you're just adding melodic variations to it. Keep the hands soft and have fun adding that to your play. Now, before we get into the extra, extra cool stuff, check out what I'm doing to D7. I'm barring, and occasionally I drop my ring finger here on the fourth fret. That note is an E. When you add that note, your D becomes a D9 chord. And that's a nice jazzy sound to add to your chord. Remember, as always, to break off and keep that thumb soft. Remember, it's ukulele zen, right? Light, light, light touch. Next week, I'll be showing you in detail this technique of adding a bass line to your playing when we play a tune called I'll Fly Away. I was using this in the interlude in between the chorus and the verse. Oh, would you rather be a pig? It just breaks down the texture, it simplifies it, creates a little space so you were strumming full force in the chorus and now it just gets a little quieter, draws the listener ear in so they can really hear the verse clearly. Try this technique out on any song, it's a wonderful way of bringing focus to a new section. Alright, I'm going through this stuff a little quickly, let's jump into these extra ways to play the chords. You know, the chorus is E7, A7, D7, and then G or G6. When you play these chords up here, you get this nice melody, check it out. E7, moving down to A7, D7, and then to G or G6. Can you hear that nice melody? So when you first practice this, just listen for the clarity of the chord. There's A7. These are different voicings of the chord, and they bring that nice melody into it. Now if I add a little more rhythm and some of those chord slides to it, you get a nice bit of a chord solo technique. A one, two, three, four. last chord I'm playing is also a G6. So you're just barring across at the seventh fret. That last passage and this passage I'm about to show you are both on the PDF that's available for patrons at Ukulele Zen Patreon. Check out the link below. So the next variation also has a melody on top. You go from E7 up here at the seventh fret and then you play A7. See how that note stayed the same? And then it moves to D7, and then to G6. Now when you add slides, and also uh, if you can finger this D7 and add this note taking your finger on and off the seventh fret, you can get a lot of nice variations. I'm just gonna show you simple ones, and then I'll jazz it up a bit. Three, four. there at the end. 
Now, if I add a little more rhythm to this and drop some fingers into the different spots on the chord, take a listen to the effect that it has. Three, four. So just go real slow with this at first. You're gonna wanna relax the hand after each chord, in between each chord. All right, so my strategy to practice is to play the chord and feel the space in between because these chords are way more advanced than your open string chords because they use bars and they're using combinations of fingers that may be unfamiliar to you. So make sure that you make it feel nice and light and then add these extra notes to your bar chords. You'll see, it gets easier and easier the more you do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for jamming along. Remember, the play along track and the PDF that goes along with this lesson is available at my Patreon page. There's a link below. Thank you so much for your support and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you dug this, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Most importantly, just glad you're here watching and I hope that music has made your day wonderful today. Thank you.